Did you know that keeping your contact only on social media is not the safest thing to do for your business? The best and safest place to store your contacts and make sure that you have control over your business is by having an email list. So in this episode number 110, I'm going to share with you the reason why it is the safest, how it's going to save you time in your business and what tool to specifically use so you don't have to question any of that ever again. So stay tuned. Hey, hey, Thierry here from thierryvalexander.com. I help makeup artists, network marketers, and entrepreneurs create an effective presence online so you can attract all the best qualified leads into your business and monetize your brand much faster, easier, and while having fun along the way. If you're new here, consider subscribing because each and every week I do create a new episode and attached to it, I'm giving you access to a PDF, cheat sheet, a guide of some sort that is there to empower you in your own way within your business. In this episode number 110, I'm going to share with you how, where to actually store your contact to be very safe. And that place is email. It's to build an email list. That's what's going to help you to move further. Yes, the money is in your list, but the fortune is in how you manage, write to, and communicate with your list. Furthermore, your list must be protected as much as possible because it is what's going to help you create a living and also make all your dreams come true. Now, many people make or have made, me included, the mistake of relying only on social media to connect with their prospects and leads. However, social media is far from being the safest place to protect your list of contacts. Some of the reasons are that, first of all, you do not own social media. Social media can go down anytime. Remember MySpace? Yes, I said it, MySpace. Third, your account can be shot at any time. Also, your account can be hacked at any time. What this means is that if any of this is happening, you are losing everything, your account, as well as all your contacts and the hard work that you've put in to create those contacts, that list of contacts that you have on social media. Hence, having an email list is at least a great backup plan to have on, on the back end. The next advantage of having an email list also is to create leverage and automation. These two words are some of my favorite words. I'm not kidding. Literally, it has changed my entire business life, like how I do things. When you are building an email list, the last thing that you want to do is to having to send emails one by one. Having the right tool is allowing you to broadcast to all your contacts in that list that you created within this email provider and even automate the process so you can enjoy your life when your business is running. Yet again, this is done with a specific tool. It's not with your regular email provider. And as you know, each and every single week, I'm giving you access to a cheat sheet, a guide, a PDF of some sort, or even further courses to empower you within your business. This week, because we're talking about email lists, I'm giving you access to a free five-day simple list leverage challenge that is, going, that is going to help you create more leverage, more sales, and more signups in less time than you ever imagined. So if you wanna get access to this free challenge, free five-day simple list leverage challenge, just click the yellow button below this video and that will be sent automatically into your email box. If you're on my YouTube channel or any other platform, just check the description section around this video somewhere. You will have a link that is going to take you back to my blog. Once you're there, again, below this video, you'll see a massive yellow button you cannot miss. Once you click it, you'll receive access to this free five-day challenge immediately in your email box. Now, as I said, a regular email provider such as Hotmail or Gmail will not provide you the leverage and automation features that you need in order to communicate with your list as a pro. What you need is an autoresponder email that we call, and that is the one that I found the safest and the easiest as well as the most affordable one that I found is called Aweber. 
you can actually even use their free uh, plan which is giving you everything that you need you'll be limited on certain features like like the the amount of leads that you can create but that's an advanced feature anyway so go ahead with their free plans anyway you'll you'll be well set and when you're ready to go to the next level you can upgrade to their uh, chip plan anyway the best easiest and most affordable platform that i found is called aweber you can even enjoy their free plan with everything that you need pretty much within that plan to create the business that you want on automation and leverage. Feel free to check the show notes of this blog right at the bottom where I'm going to give you access to, the, to a link for you to go ahead and create your own free Airwaver account. You can even try through that link the paid plan but for free for 30 days. So I'll leave this in the show notes of this blog or in the description section of the YouTube uh, video as well. So there you have it. Now you know why it is so important to have and build your list elsewhere than solely on social media. And so you should take action immediately on it, really. And remember, I've got your back as well with the free five-day simple list leverage challenge, which is going to help you create more sales, more leverage, and more recruits within your business. So if you want to get access to this, just click the yellow button below this video, and that will be sent automatically into your email box. Did you get value out of this episode? I truly hope that you did. If you did, of course, you know what to do. Smash the share button, send it to your fellow network marketers, makeup artists, entrepreneurs, whomever you believe should be aware of building a list, an email list, rather than having their contacts only on social media. Question of the week, where do you save your contact share with me in the comment section where where are you most of your contacts saved at the moment and let me know if you feel that they are truly safe where they are at the moment after having listened to what we sh what we went through together today thank you so much for tuning in i love connecting with you each and every single week this episode is a wrap but i will see you on the next video training bye bye, -bye.